Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! Okay, um... Well, now that we did the minecart minigame, the rest of this level should go pretty swimmingly. Speaking of swimming, let's head down there. You know, the nice thing about these collect-a-thon games is... If there is a challenge that is too hard for you, or just isn't... Wait, what? Uh, I seem to have collected a carrot by falling down. You know, I did spot that opening up there, and it's like... That's not actually a one-way exit, is it? Yeah, it's kind of a one-way exit. Anyway, when it comes to challenges that are just too difficult for you, or you're just not having fun with... They are optional. If you play this game, you don't have to play that minecart level if it is too difficult for you. There's certainly a few stinker collectibles in some other collectathons that I am all too happy to ignore. The jump rope minigame in Mario Sunshine? That is kind of ridiculous. The minecart challenges in ukulele? Uh, they took one of the, my favorite things from DK64 and made them obnoxious. I meant to say DK... Donkey Kong Country, I mean. Uh, speaking of challenges... Well, might as well take on this one while we're here. Time for more Mario Sunshine. I will say, in regards to that Beaver Race minigame, there, in hindsight, there wasn't necessarily anything wrong with it other than it was too difficult for me personally. Oops. Although there were a few coins that seemed like they were impossible to get. At the very least, not without taking damage to get them. The minecart minigame in this game that I just did, though... Yeah, I definitely feel like there were some things that could have been improved about it. Because the fact that I had to hold the brakes just about the entire time I played that. I feel like that's not how I'm supposed to be playing that. But it was the only way I felt like I could succeed. The challenge, the, the obstacles feel like they could have had a little bit more warning so they didn't jump at me and get me if I'm going normal speed. And of course there's those gates that were automatically opening and closing. I consider myself kind of proud that I managed to avoid those gates on that last run, though. That felt like a pretty nice accomplishment. When it comes to difficulty, though, that is just a hard thing to really critique. Because it's like, okay, I had a really t hard time with it, but... That doesn't necessarily mean other people will have a hard time with it. I mentioned before that very few people have actually... Well, I don't know how many people play this game, but... I'm certainly going to be the first person to do a full playthrough of it on camera. So... I don't know how other people have been able to handle that minecart minigame, whether other people have as much difficulty as I did. Mm, I'm betting that's a level up there, so I'll just save it for later. Where was the level I was just in? Off in this direction, right. Uh, that's not the jump pad. This is jump pad. Oh. 
It is certainly a hope of mine, by the way, that anybody watching, maybe they'll see enough of what they like that they might actually try this game themselves. Because there is definitely some good in this game. Overall, I'm enjoying myself. Even despite some of the more difficult challenges. Uh, where is that leading? Alright, well let's go ahead and take th this challenge then. I'm glad I found the stomp ability first. If I had come this way, I would not have had it yet. Um... Oh! Here we go. Another carrot. More more carrot and we'll have enough to unlock the next world. Although I don't think we'll be doing the next world in this stream. I was just kind of curious if it's possible to maneuver back here. Seems to be. So if you fell behind that, you wouldn't be stuck. That's good to know. Alright, back up here and make my way to this. I wonder how to use this. It doesn't seem to be working right now. Okay, so tightrope's not a thing we can do. I did notice back at that C level, there was a tightrope coming from an exit from another level. So we'll have to make sure to collect that in that level. Oh, I guess we're done over here. All right, let's make our way through here then. Oh, so hello there, Keeper. Welcome to the stream. Oh, I see another Mario Sunshine challenge. Bring it. Looks kind of similar to the one I just did. Okay, so far, not too bad. In fact, I might be able to one-shot this. I better not fail now that I said that. Nah, I got this. Huzzah! Kiba says they just need to add a twist to the rotating ones. Oh boy, imagine a Mario Sunshine troll level. You land on those rotating ones and suddenly they start spinning the other direction at 90 miles an hour. Give me my health back. Where is this leading? Cool. Also ominous. Oh, yeah. 
And dead. So what happens if you die in one of these levels? You go back to your last spawn point. Gotcha. Well, in that case... Oh, gosh dang it. In that case, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to need to use this. We'll try this again. There we go. I guess I don't necessarily need to use the springs. There's still also a carrot on top of a waterfall. I wonder if that's also from another level. I need your, I need some health, please. Thank you. Stealing your lunch. What is this place? Oh, it's the shop! It's the shop when I'm probably almost done with this level. Yellow helmet. Helmet used in mining. If you wear one of these, you're probably safe. Probably. Mine pickerel? A tool for mining ore. It can be carried on the back. Mine boots. Safe, non-slip boots. Perfect for adventures in the mines. Crystal figurines. Freshly mined crystal. Decorating it may improve your luck. Nah, this stuff is purely cosmetic. Minecart model. A model of a minecart used in a mine. It's massive and very cool. Music, Mysterious Mine. You can play the music of Mysterious Mine at home. Let's listen to it at Ravi's house. I am that cat's best customer. Okay, so... Three more items that we can get from these places. Does that mean there's three more levels? Or perhaps there's four more levels and the fourth shop does a fourth level doesn't have a shop or something. Kiba says, was going to say the helmet blocks the pickaxe from the mole? Well that would be kind of nice. Okay, what's there here? Another gate. Uh, probably coming from another place. Oh, this is this cave. Are we done then? I mean, obviously, not gonna be all the way done, but... Is that all I can do in this level for now? Yeah, I would say so. Because I haven't found a way up to that. Alright. Well, actually, a good way of doing this. Let's open this up. Mysterious my oh, I only found four Karas here? How many am I up to? I need 27 to unlock, unlock the next level. Which is what I got. 
What did I miss? Was there a path somewhere? Let me take a quick look around. I know there's a carrot there. There was also a carrot in that tunnel over there. Missed a coin there. I uh, really wish that these totals actually told you the coins. Well, if I miss a coin, whatever. I'm not going to count the coins towards getting 100%. The carrot in the waterfall, I think I'm going to have to acquire by finding a secret path from another level. Well, I don't know where else to look in this level for more carrots that I'm able to acquire at this moment, so... We're just gonna go ahead and exit this place, and I'm gonna make my way back to the first world, because there is something I can do there. I can now do something about this. Um. Might take a few attempts? Yep, took a few attempts. What's this? Oh! Alright, cool. Found my way back into the mysterious mine. This is not on top of that one waterfall, but behind that grate that I saw... Right over here. But this is another path to the left? Well, let me open this up first. Where is this leading? Some sort of puzzle. It says, make the panel the hero's face. Hero? I'm not one of the hero? Only if we're playing multiplayer. Okay, let's see here. Where is the hero's face? There you are. Although for funsies, let's take a look at what other faces there are. Well, we do have the fairy. Oh, that's not quite you. Oh my! Do you like me that much? Okay, the fact that we get a reaction from it is absolutely worth checking out the other ones. Okay, so the panels are not in random order. That simplifies things. Oops. I mean, it simplifies things as long as I land on the correct panel. Funny face! He's a king at this. It's hilarious. Yeah, he's kind of a villain, for what it's worth. And there we go. Oops. Hi. Bye. Okay, now that is everything I can think of to do in this level. So, we'll just go ahead and make our way out. Was there another place where I could smash a thing? Don't know. Can't remember. I mean, obviously there's another one in the hub world that I'm ignoring for the time being. Because I'm sure the game's gonna send, my way, send me up there anyway. I still don't know how to get up there.
Hmm. Let me head over in this direction. There is some platforming over here. Uh, I don't think I can make my way past this house, though. I don't see an exit up there. Oh, this, this kind of reminds me of something. One of the games, there's like a MacGuffin that you can see on a ledge, but it takes most of the game before you're able to actually get there. What game was it? Not Mario 64, not Mario Sunshine. I can't remember. In any case... I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it, call it quits here today. Cause all that's left to do at this point is unlock the next level and I definitely do not have time to open or do anything in the next level. So we'll just save that for next time.